What's up, bros and hoes? My name is Ash Optic Man. I bring you another free for all tips and tricks tutorial. This is a map breakdown on the map Sea Town. Uh, as you can see, this is the lovely Sea Town. I actually do really enjoy this map. And here's the spawns right on your screen. Now, there's a lot of X's on this one. That's probably because it's a little bit of a bigger map. Usually, I, I was under the assumption that whenever you have a bigger map in Call of Duty, you have a little bit less spawns. I mean, I don't, it doesn't really make sense, but it feels like you have less spawns on a bigger map and you have more spawns on a smaller map to give, you know, the spawn system more options when it comes to spawning people farther away from people, which obviously with how broken the spawn system is, Modern for 3 doesn't usually work that well. But, um, I hope you do find this spawn points thing interesting. Some of you really do like it. You keep commenting, yes, I love the spawn map. Uh, some of you say, oh, I don't really need that. I just skipped to the gameplay, which is fine. That's okay. But, um, I hope that this does help you and I'm gonna do like I did last week and I'm gonna show you, uh, probably, I'm gonna show you two main spots that I like on this map. Alright, one of the main spots that I really like on the map Sea Town is this big well circular area and it's not that high traffic of an area but like uh, like last week how I showed you that there wasn't that many spawn points by one of my choke points but what happens is when you kill that when you kill somebody near where you are at that choke point it actually the spawn system will spawn them closer to you and that's something that I found with this uh, circular dome uh, not dome but circular like building and it's kind of at a corner and a lot of people you know that they're gonna try to come back to you if they spawn near you all right and this is probably one of the most obvious spots i've had yet on this uh show i guess you could say is right here in this main building now people seem to like this building because it has multiple entrances but it also has really good cover and th the fact that there's so many spawn points just in and around it you can see that there's an X in the building that I'm talking about, but it's actually on the lower level, so they don't actually spawn in the building with you. They will never spawn in there with you, which is also a really good thing. You can call it camping. I call it strategically holding down an area, and since this is one of the most high traffic areas on the map, I'd have to say that this is the best place to hold down. Now that we've taken an in-depth look at the Sea Town spawns on Free For All, I hope you guys do enjoy that part of the series. If you don't, um, my gameplay, I always have a good gameplay that I try to give useful tips during so let's get started on that here is some gameplay that i got on c town with the g36c and like the last uh, episode i did the first episode i did i used the specialist uh, perk or class setup kill streak whatever you want to call it just to show that um spawn basically it's kind of it's not spawn killing to the sense like when you see demolition clips sometimes the people are just spawning into you know someone's bullets but this is a uh, spawn control is what I like to call it. I like to call it map control and spawn knowledge and I put that into one one uh, significant term, call it spawn control. Now I can't control where the enemy spawns but I can have knowledge and know how that they will spawn near this building. As you can see if you look at the beginning there's people that do spawn uh, in not in not necessarily in this building but around like there's a spawn point in that well where that person just came from and what I like about this area is it's so high traffic because since there are a lot of spawn points around it and a lot of people do like to go in buildings especially on a map like this they're attracted to it naturally and like I've said in previous episodes when somebody when you kill somebody in free-for-all their their main objective is to come kill you they don't say oh that guy got me fuck him I'm gonna go kill everyone else no they want you man so here's what I did is I, I used uh, that to my advantage and I got my kill streaks and a lot of people ask me you know I don't know if a lot of you are elite members but they have these free for all challenges on elite where you can try to get the most amount of kills in three hours or whatever and I haven't won one the highest I ever placed was fourth and I've only competed in two um, the first one I ever did I got top 75 and the second one I ever did I got fourth which is almost a prize haha <laughs> they rage quit um, and so and I did that by doing this by using air support because the faster you get a free-for-all done the more kills you are able to get in those three hours and the more effective it is I mean you can be as effective as you want with specialist class and that's fine I don't even know where that guy came from if he was up there the whole time or what happened but you, you can be effective with specialist class and even the support class but if you want to truly dominate a free-for-all and get a ridiculously good KD and finish it in a really really fast way um, this is the way to do it and 
And I come into this area, like I said, it's one of my areas that I like to control because there's spawn points down those stairs, there's spawn points by that well that I'm looking at, and I'm just kind of waiting for somebody to come come up to me, basically. So that that is how I basically win free for all. And and one one tip that I do want to give in this particular episode is uh, use a silencer. I mean, a lot of people call it a bitch move to use a silencer. See, like I just spawned down there. I know he did. And, and that's that's the name of the game. That's the name of free for all for me. I've been playing it for years, and that's that's how I win. Um, usually, <laughs> I don't win them all, but I do try my best. And um, yeah, I, I shouldn't have been looking that way. He came up and got me from the back. But um, use a silencer because it, people call it cheap, but I just call it tactical. I mean, the the name of the game isn't to try to win in the most difficult way possible. The name of the game is winning to me, and I think that a silencer really gives you an advantage to to put yourself above the other competitors because unless they have a really good headset, they're not going to hear you and they're not going to see you on that mini map. And so when you are controlling that particular area, they're not going to necessarily know what hit them. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and a favorite. Please leave below a map you would like me to cover next time. A lot of people said Sea Town in the last video, so I decided to cover it. And um, I guess I could just say thank you guys for watching and have a good day.